Greetings, this is your soul, the original co-creator of the Eureka EarthHeart community, a social network at Eureka.org, and I'm also a witness on the Steam blockchain, and this video is part of a series of videos uh, exp where we basically explain, different users of, of Steam explain our vision for Steam. And I'm going to give a, a quick introduction to Steam as well, for those who aren't aware of what it is. So Steam is a cryptocurrency, much like Bitcoin and other blockchain-based cryptocurrencies, so it's actually a form of exchange, a digital token system uh, which you can convert into traditional money systems like pounds and dollars and so on if you like it, exchanges. You can transmit money to anyone in the world for free in uh, about three seconds and it integrates also in social networking features. So it's effectively a kind of socio-economic system and not only do you get to use the blockchain to communicate with people and write blogs, but you can actually get paid from that cryptocurrency pool, uh, from the resources in the in the cryptocurrency reserves for, for Steam. You actually get paid for blogging and for commenting. So you get rewards. Uh, a reward pool is generated every day for inflation created on the token, and everyone can then vote on whatever posts and videos and so on they like from everyone else. And whoever gets the most votes from the people with the most resources in the network, whoever's got the, the biggest wallets, basically, if they vote for you, the more you're going to get. And so this is pretty interesting. It basically creates a kind of marketplace for ideas and for expression. So now instead of having to patent your inventions or create a movie or whatever it is you do, um, you can also be rewarded just for a snippet of piece of information here or there that might help someone else go on and do something else. So it, it works on the micro and the macro. You can have a big idea or a small idea, but they can all be rewarded. And this is really something quite novel and new, relatively new, and... The fact that it's on the internet, it's international, means that someone could have an idea in their sleep in New Zealand and wake up, make a little blog post about it, and then the next morning find that collectively the people of the world across the whole of the world have combined to give them $1,000. Uh, and this does happen. And so, there, I mean, dur during the, the peak period of crypto prices, uh, th there were people there earning much more from just blogging than they were likely to make from their day job. So, really quite amazing. And it's exciting. And, and for, as somebody who likes to think about solving the world's problems and actually acting to do that rather than just talking about it, to me, it's just amazing. And the vision that I had for the Internet when it first started to flourish years ago was that I envisioned that the world would come together and we'd settle our differences and be able to communicate properly and learn about each other. And, you know, maybe we would have a chance of creating world peace. And unfortunately, you know, although there are lots of people who are using it in that way, there's also lots of people who are using it to sow division and, and so on. However, when you've got an economic system and an incentive built into uh, into your use of the internet, things change. And you'll find that there really aren't too many trolls and abusive people on Steam because they actually lose out financially as a result of doing that. Um, so, yeah, very, very interesting. And from my perspective, as somebody running a social network whose focus is on healing, balancing and evolving... This is really amazing because it, it actually facilitates an environment where um, that's a little bit more respectful and, and kind of um, balanced. Even It's unfortunate in a way that we have to use money to, to, to bring balance to human interaction, but apparently on the internet that's, that's what works best so far. So um, it basically means that as somebody running a network of this kind, uh, although... Uh, I can run the network without Steam, it allows me to then incentivize people to come and, and use my network. So Eureka ultimately is about solving problems and Steam is about solving problems in a way. So they're, they're very well matched. And I look forward to seeing what I can do and what Eureka creates as a result of um, being able to reward communities for and, and, the, and the Eureka community for, for following their passion ultimately. So... We've heard a bit in the news about universal basic income from the presidential candidate in America, Andrew Wang, and, and many others. And his argument is that artificial intelligence will be so pervasive in the coming years that when they're going to lose, they're estimating roughly one third of all jobs will be lost as a result of this in the near future. And they're saying that, financially speaking, it makes more sense to give everyone $1,000 a month, no matter what they do, whether they work or not. Uh, it makes more sense to do that than to try and keep up with unemployment um, benefits and so on if you're going to have this many people losing jobs it, it just it's not viable so steam although it's not a universal basic income it is 
a means of you being rewarded just for living your life and doing the things that you enjoy and, and to, for sharing that with other people. So it's really a very interesting thing. And my vision for Steam in terms of the future of Steam would be to continue its expansion and for more and more apps to be created that ultimately mean that it's more useful to more and more people and to make it simpler so that, well, at least to make the understanding of it simpler and more accessible to people so that more and more people see the benefits of being able to um, create community which is able to be rewarded and to actually build uh, the use of resources for itself. We already have something approaching a general use uh, tool for smart contracts on Steam which basically means it's possible to use the technology to create contracts with people that get enforced automatically but according to rules um, so you know there's a lot more than just sending tokens to people basically and, and you can even create your own tokens if you want to and your own communities and have all of this integrated in which I will probably do at some point for Eureka uh, so I, I really see the potential for Steam as being almost it's it's tied into the potential for humanity because it's so open-ended you can do so much with it it facilitates free speech it facilitates free exchange uh, it really bypasses a lot of the problems that we've had forced on us by what i would call corrupt governments frankly um, governments by the few for the few uh, and that's not that's not what humanity needs or wants ultimately and, and i think most people you speak to will agree with that and while steam isn't democracy uh, it's something approaching that. It's something approaching direct democracy where people get to determine the outcome of where resources go based on what they personally want. And Maybe it's going to be a better way for the will of the people to be at least seen and understood. One of the awesome things about this is that although there are corporations involved on the Steam blockchain, ultimately it's a public project. So it's down to every person on the Steam blockchain to get involved and to make the most of the network. And everything, any skills that anyone has, more or less, can be actually utilised on the blockchain and they'll get paid for it voluntarily. Uh, it's all voluntary. There's no contracts. So you offer your voluntary services because you like the ideas that you're supporting and then voluntarily people reward you for that. And, you know, there, it's not perfect. I'm not going to say that everyone always gets everything they deserve, but it's definitely, in my opinion, dramatically better than what we've had previously. And, you know, when I was first... Involved in Steam, I was waking up and laughing nearly every day. I was just so happy that this technology exists. I never dreamed that it would ever exist. I never thought that we would be able to wrestle the power of the financial system away from the oligarchs so so soon, in a way, and in such a kind of fun and exciting way. So I really think we just need to make this vision of reality and, and, and these uh, truths about Steam more accessible to people so that more people realise its benefits and to and to help them break free of the kind of invisible chains that they hold in their minds that hold them bound to fictional financial system uh, and the idea that you know you're going to get rich through working for these massive corporations you know or get everything you need when in reality you know the statistics show that that just isn't the case and that for the most part the majority of people remain poor no matter what they do because that's the game's rigged. So, so hopefully Steam and, and systems like it are going to be a way for us to uh, bring a bit more balance and, and that's got to be a good thing as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, uh, if you want to learn more about Steam then head on over to steamit.com or steampeak.com or deep.tube which is the YouTube version, uh, their version of YouTube for, for Steam or dsound.audio and many other sites that run the Steam protocol and run from the Steam blockchain and you'll quickly be able to get a sense of what it's all about, join up to some Discord servers, Discord's an audio video sharing system, a bit like Skype, a uh, communication system, and that's where a lot of uh, people meet and talk, and uh, yeah, it's just a great way to meet people who, you know, you would never meet otherwise, and to realise that this world is a lot smaller than perhaps it looks sometimes, and you're not alone, and you know, there's many people who share your passions probably, and um, we're stronger together ultimately, so... Uh, also, you're more than welcome to come and check out eureka.org, U-R-E-K-A.org, create a profile on there, and you can already post onto Steam, and in the next few days we're going to have commenting on there and more and more of the features. Hopefully in a couple of weeks it will be more or less a completely fully integrated Steam uh, ecosystem site. So stay tuned for more on that, and maybe I'll see you there. Cheers, peace.